So now we're going to do a DNA extraction for LAMP PCR. So we're going to take the extraction that we already did for the RPA kit, except now we're going to clean it up a little bit more so it's more pure. For the LAMP DNA extraction, we're going to take 1,000 microliters of the crude extraction and put it into a microcentrifuge tube. Make sure to balance the centrifuge with another equally weighted tube. And centrifuge at 14,000 G for one minute. Pipette out the liquid, but be careful not to get too close to the solids at the bottom. Your pipette should still be set at 1000 microliters. Lower the volume of the pipette until the liquid has reached the tip. Now you know how much liquid you actually have. Add the liquid to a new microcentrifuge tube, and then add an equal volume of well-shaken 10% PVP. Now shake the tube and centrifuge at 14,000 G for one minute. Transfer the liquid to a new tube and add equal parts binding matrix. Make sure the binding matrix is well mixed before you add it. Place the tube on a shaker table for 10 minutes at gentle agitation. Mix the solution and transfer about half of it to a spin filter tube and centrifuge at 14,000 G for 10 minutes. Empty the catch tube, add the rest of the solution to the filter, and centrifuge again. Empty the catch tube again and add 500 microliters of SEWSM to the filter tube to wash the binding matrix. Wait for two minutes, then centrifuge the tube at 14,000 G. Replace the catch tube with a new tube. Add 100 microliters of DES to the filter tube and wait for two minutes. Then centrifuge at 14,000 G for one minute. Get rid of the filter and store the catch tube at negative 20 degrees Celsius. In our last video, I will show you how to conduct a LAMP PCR test in the lab.